Well guys, welcome back to another Copart walk around. It's raining today, so we'll see how much we're able to get in before it just keeps getting uh, ridiculously pouring. All right guys, so we're gonna go around out here today. I'm gonna try to get in a couple vehicles. One is gonna be this Porsche that we're walking over to right now. No, not the one that you guys saw last week. This is another one. And then I have an E39, two cars I definitely wanna look at. Now it is drizzling out. I'm gonna apologize in advance for the wind. Even with the dead cat uh, on the mic, there's literally nothing I can do about the wind. And I'm trying to get you guys this content. So I'm going to do my best. I hope you guys just bear with me and we get this in. Oh, I'm going to have to walk through this water, damn it. Got a Hellcat too? Man, we might have a good day today. Look at all the water and rain out here today, man. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. All right, so this Porsche is the first one I want to look at today. I am highly interested in this, and I don't know why it's here. You guys can see it here. Let me get you guys into a wide angle view. Now, it looks like it has extra parts. Yep, extra parts in the box. 71,000 miles on the clock. And you can see the rear end damage here. So this is probably why it's here. It's a 911 Carrera, huh? With only 71,000 miles. Okay, I can definitely see the rear fender here is creased. Hmm. Same thing over here on this side. Let's take a look at the uh, interior. You got nice carbon fiber and stuff here leather seats you got the six-speed manual the rear bumper is actually in the car so maybe that could be reused the interior does not look horrible i see the door over there is taken apart i don't know this is definitely a possibility it is from usaa one of my favorite insurance companies oh and i have to disclose by the way they are a, uh, a partner on the channel now, uh, USAA is. So if I mention an insurance company specifically when I'm looking at a vehicle, now you know why. Got a 911 Porsche. I don't know, guys. What do you guys think about this? Uh, what do you guys think about this Porsche? Definitely has my interest. And then you have all these panels and stuff in this box, which I'll give you guys a look at in here. Yeah, there's the mirror. So, I mean... Maybe this thing could be put together. I don't know. I don't know. Huh. Let me know what you guys think. Yay, nay, or spray in the comment section down below. All right, guys. Since the Challenger, since this Challenger is right here, I figured I'd look at it. Wow, this thing is was, rope, was flipped on its roof. This thing was really, say it with me, smashed you can see the scratches on the hood that does not mean that the powertrain is shot i am wondering if this is just a hemi or what it does have the upgraded sport rims which are all curb rash to hell usaa 19 2019 as well dodge challenger it does not say though i couldn't tell you if it's an rt yeah look at the back back here I couldn't tell you if it's an RT, a V6, or just a regular 5.7 V8, but wow, that one's really been through it, man. That one's really been through it. Well, on to the next one. Oh, man, the mud out here is no punk today, boy. Woo! I am interested in this CLK 430. I know I shouldn't look at it. I'm not stupid. Uh... I know you guys are going to roast me. As soon as I saw these Giovanni, is that what these are? Giovanni rims on deck. <laughs> Flat up front. It's not too, too horrible. I 
148,000 miles on the clock. Does have power because I felt the window go down when I opened it. Keys are on deck. Oh, it does say that this one, look at Mercedes Benz V8. It does say that somebody's coming right back for it. So this one might actually be uh, sold or maybe that's just an old message. Shows us for sale here on the app. Fires right up too. Nope. Says check coolant level. So we're not going to screw with that. But hey, at least we know it runs. Not bad, man. Not bad at all. Headliners hanging a little bit. I mean, it's a cheap little, it could be a cheap little Mercedes. Door is dirty though. Wow. I mean, hey, it all depends. I know, I already know that you guys are going to be like, you got a little, is that a big part of a Bitcoin miner? Power star? Yeah, something. Um, you never look at Tacomas. You never look at Toyotas because they always go for damn near retail when they're wrecked. That's why I don't, for you guys that are always asking me why I won't look at a Toyota, it's because it's like a tease. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to look at a Toyota for what? So I can't have it? <laughs> like, especially if it's one I really, really, really want and then I can't get it? Nah. I'm good. Have I seen this one before? The Z71? Wow. Oh, look, it's got the black and red fuel rim. These were the black and red fuel rims that I wanted to put on the Tahoe before fuel got bought out. If you don't know, fuel recently was sold. They're no longer an independent company and they have ceased manufacturing rims from what I was told. I, I put in my order and had to get refunded because the company was no longer. So maybe they'll get that sorted out in the future with the new owners. But yeah, this has the really nice fuel rims on it. This is a black Silverado. I don't know what that is, but okay. Z71. Okay. And this one is definitely missing that other rim. So three rims, 71,000 miles on it. And yeah, talk about smashed. This one got hit super hard, man. For sure. For sure. I mean... Just look at it. That's ridiculous. And then there's the broken fuel rim. Wow, this one really got just obliterated. Woo! Man. Ouch. Good parts truck, though. All right. So I looked at the couple I want. We'll look at that E39 on the way out. We'll freewheel it here a little bit and see if there's anything else that gets my interest, anything else that's new that uh, grabs my attention that we should take a, an immediate look at. Uh, not seeing anything in the uh, interim. We're looking. Oh, there's a Camry that took a nasty hit in the quarter. Ford Fusion. Probably wouldn't be too terrible to fix. Mitsubishi. Still got the paper tags on it. Ouch. <sighs> it's amazing how many brand new cars you'll see come through because, you know, the owner, it was too much car for the previous owner or something or they couldn't handle it and then they wreck it. Always sucks to see that. Especially on the pretty ones. Now, I know you guys want another bike video. There are some new bikes uh in the house and i will try to get you guys a full dedicated bike video probably midweek so probably wednesday or thursday you guys will get a dedicated bike video look at that busa over there Woo! a stretched busa too oh boy i might be looking at that today uh-oh i see a mercedes I see a Mercedes. I'm interested. What's up? Trunk's open. E350. Looks good. It's from the outside. A little bit of clear coat peel. 
back bumper has been hit. And yes, you can see that is bent in. That is why. There's a spring right there too. Busted light. Huh. 150,000 miles. Huh. So the trunk's not going to close. We can close it over though so the trunk is not getting full of water. Why that is not down, I don't know. But okay. Um, does this have any power? It does. It is listed. It is listed as a run and drive. I'll give it a go. See, cars like this, now I don't know how extensive the frame damage is. You know what I'm saying? It could be so extensive that it's just, even if you pulled it out, it wouldn't even be worth being like a beater because you'd have to put so much work in it to get it drivable. Well, that thing fired right up. It does say visit workshop as soon as it fires up for the battery. So battery issue. All right, well, I don't want to kill the battery. I know it runs. That's what I wanted to know. So it is listed as a run and drive, so it does at least creep forward and creep back under its own power. I don't know. That's not a bad, a bad look. I guess we'd have to see. Let me know what you guys think. Um, you know, this is my early preview because I got to come back through tomorrow to really look at what I'm going to buy. Because you, if you guys don't know, I literally sit outside. There's like a, a truck stop maybe a few miles from here. And I literally sit there and bid on cars that I've seen, you know, within an hour or two. So I, they're fresh in my mind. I know what I'm trying to bid on. But let me know what you guys think about this Mercedes.
All right, next, guys, is a 2020 Kia Soul. Listed as a run and drive. When I say brand new, it's got 1,475 miles on it. Why is it here, you might ask? Let's go ahead and take a walk around of it. And if you guys look back here, the front looks really good. Sides look really good. So, TK, why is it here? Well, wow, wait a minute. We interrupt our regularly scheduled program for smashed. Woo! All right. That's why it's here. Back deck, but definitely the back hatch. This back hatch 100% would have to be replaced. But I don't see, I'm looking, I don't see any bends. I see a little bit of a crease right here, right? Like a little bit of an indention. I'm not seeing, this goes right here, right? Let me see the other side. Yeah, you know what? Like I see this and I think maybe this is why they literally totaled it. You know, I see a little crease down here. You know what I'm saying? Like I see a couple little creases, but I bet that's where, where the plastic and stuff is held together. I bet if you replace this back deck lid, you basically have a brand new 2020 Kia for next to nothing. Let's take a look at the interior. Ooh. So some of the other internal parts or rear parts are right there. The rest of the car is right here and it looks like I said, like it's brand new. So you got a key here, another key here in the center console. So two keys on deck. Let's grab the one that's already free floating. Radio's already on. See if she starts. Right up. And you would expect that. I mean, it's brand new. It's got 80 mi 89 miles of range. I mean, this thing is literally brand new. Just got took a little hit to the rear. Just a little hit to the rear, man. And this is a perfect car for somebody that would like to save a ton of money look all the wheel lug stuff is here and everything that's crazy man that's crazy this is a hell of a deal this is a car that you pick up if you want to save if you wanted to buy a new car like basically a new car 1500 miles and save a ton of money these are the kind of cars you could pick up at copart you know is it you know you're going to pay for this car you know i'm sure someone's going to pay i'm going to give you a guesstimate right now probably six grand eight grand maybe right and then they're probably going to put another 1500 into repairs and i don't know what these go for new let's say they go for this let's say this one optioned out at like twenty five thousand, right if you pick this car up for everything let's say it was 25 grand but all said and done you're into this car for 13 come on man come on man you got a brand new car for like ten thousand off you know so these are the kind of deals you can find out of Copart. Like this is this is one of the re main reasons I like to come out here and look at this stuff. So let me know what you guys think about this Kia. I'm gonna add it to my watch list just because it looks like this is not something I would drive every day. I'm just gonna keep it honest with you. This is the hamster car, but it is one that that I would be interested in buying. I got friends in Florida that are dealers that would happily you know, rebuild this and sell it. And I don't even know what the title status is on this. They might not even have, have total lost this. This might not even have a branded title. You never know. You never know the deals you could get. You never know. All right. Let's see if we see anything else that just grabs our attention. All right, you Toyota fans. <laughs> All right, you Toyota fans. Look at this Tundra. Look at this Toyota Tundra, man. Smashed in the rear. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I think it's going to need a, a tailgate. <laughs> what do you guys think? You think it's going to need a tailgate? I think it's going to need a tailgate and maybe a bed and maybe and maybe a cab. <laughs> you know what, though? For a work truck, I wouldn't even care. Oh, wow. I wouldn't even care about the paint being cracked or this being that way. I wouldn't even care. 178,000 miles. Airbags deployed everywhere. Oh, wow. And somebody must have had a soda when they hit whatever they hit because it's everywhere in here. Oh, yeah, I can smell it. All right. How bad is the front is the question. Ouch. Yeah. You know what? This will probably go relatively cheap, believe it or not. 
and it runs and drives. And this would probably be a really good workhorse, a truck. You know, somebody pulls this out. If none of these coolant lines, it looks like it did miss those, um, are broken. You know, as long as it doesn't have any overheating issues or coolant issues. This is one of those deals where somebody gets it, pulls the bumper out, make sure that the door can open safe. Maybe, you know, bend the hood back so that it closes properly. And then takes the bed off and puts a, a hitch or something on it and uses it as a, land, a landscape truck or something like that. And, you know, drives it till the wheels fall off. You know, these are the kind of deals, like I said, these are the kind of deals you can get out here. Talk about being up on a pedestal. I don't know what's up with that Dodge Ram over there, but damn. Y'all see that? Whoo! Here we go. Oh, I see an E60. Oh, I see a burned out Thunderbird too. And an old school Mercedes. Oh, we need to go. Yeah, we, we got to go check this out. We got to go check this out. Let's go. Whoo. Let me close this. I hate when people do this, man. People will leave doors open and stuff. Oh, it won't close. Well, close it over then. I try to do what I can, man. If I see something open... I don't want somebody, I, I, you know, I would hope somebody would do it for something that I would be bidding on, you know? You know, it's just common courtesy. You tried to do the right thing, that's all. That's all. All right, back to the wide angle. Woo, that wind. Guys, I apologize. I know the microphone is going to suck today, but it's literally blowing probably 45 miles an hour out here. No amount of dead cats on the mic are going to make this any better. It's just not. I'm sorry. Look at this old school Mercedes. Oh, you know what? I don't think those can be touched. Woo! So we're going to keep it moving. But look at that. You got a Chrysler 300 over there that, say it with me, toasty. You got a Duramax toasty. over there. Toasty. And that is an old toasty. Thunderbird. Say it with me. Toasty. Toasty. Done. Sad to see an E60 like that. I was looking at this until I saw the roof was bent. Ouch. That one's finished. Completely finished. Shout out to Mopar fan. I see one of your Dodge Chargers out here. But it's probably a V6. Looks like the base model. Super base model. <laughs> it's got a lift logo. I ain't interested. No. Uh-uh. You've been doing Uber and Lyft in that vehicle. If I see, look, I don't care if it's the nicest looking vehicle on the yard. If I see an Uber and a Lyft sticker, interested in instantly not interested. <laughs> you know, hell no. Wow, what is this? A Camaro? Whoo boy. Man, this Camaro just went through it, man. Literally. 40,000 miles. Ouch. Look at this Z71 Silverado. This one looks nice. Wonder why this one's here. There's a white bumper in the back. Ooh, I'm afraid to get to the other side. Yeah, I already see some damage. They got hit here in the rear quarter. In the rear corner. Boom. Buckled the bed. But that's not too terrible. That's not too terrible. This is not too terrible. This is not unrepairable. Look, I know y'all gonna be like, y'all, you just, TK, you just gonna walk right by that Corvette and not even pay it no mind? We'll look at it in a minute, all right? <laughs> oh my God, yes, this thing's got the butter seats. 24,000 miles, look, it's got less miles on it than the Mamba. The wireless charging thing here in the middle. Bose sound system. This one is nice. Sunroof. Oh man. Color me pickled, man. Woohoo. I am definitely interested in this, man. Wow. Well, let's see, Mr. Z71, if you work. Oh, and it sounds good. Doesn't it sound like the Mamba? A little bit. My, mine's probably louder. Airbag system failing. 
Hey, I'm interested in this one right here. This one right here is definitely going on my watch list. Yup. Definitely, definitely going on my watch list. I like this one. You know, I also thought about, you know what I also thought about doing? I know you're going to say I'm stupid, but I also thought about doing a swap, putting the Silverado front end, like on the Tahoe, and then putting the Tahoe uh, front end on the Silverado. I know it sounds crazy, right? I thought about it though. Oh man, next I wanted to look at this 400 series E-Class uh, Mercedes, but yeah, nah, too much damage for me. More, more than I would want to deal with. More than I would want to deal with, unfortunately. Unfortunately. Which brings me to this Corvette, because I know if I don't mention it or I don't talk about it, y'all are going to roast me in the damn comments. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So here you go. Let's take a look at it. It looks nice. I don't see any major cracks in the fiberglass. I do see that. <laughs> I, I take that back. <laughs> I see some right here. But it's not horrible, right? If this was just a, a weekend car to go out and have some fun in, hey, man. Not a bad idea, you know? I'm not, this, this spring out here on the ground is not instilling confidence. I am definitely not getting my ass in this car, though. That's not going to happen, guys. But take a look at the interior. It's, I mean, for the year, it's pretty clean, man. Pioneer aftermarket system, right? Carpets and stuff look good. It's not bad, man. This is really not bad, if you ask me. Huh. I don't know. I might change my mind on this one. Let me know what you guys think. Oh, which brings me over to this RT Challenger in burnt orange. And there's another one right here, smashed in the front. Smashed orange, blue and orange. Look, they got the Florida Gators right here. <laughs> All right. What's it here for? 158,000 miles. It looks good. Definitely has the Hemi. I bet you it's got the 5.7. It's 2011 Dodge Challenger RT. Looks nice from the front. Okay. 158,000 miles. This is a flood car, supposedly. All right. Yeah, I don't see any lights or power coming on. See, flood cars are not ones that I'm just going to get in and start messing with, guys, and turning stuff on. Because you could do some some more significant damage to uh, the electronics and whatnot in a vehicle. I also see that the windows are not going up when I close it. So I'll add this to the watch list. You know, it's not going to be a priority for me. But for the right amount of money, you know, if it goes for the right price, I could be interested. Now, I got one over here that really has my attention. And you are, I know you're going to be like, TK, these damn BMWs. Look at this, though. Yeah, I know it's got some significant damage, and y'all are going to say, that frame rail is destroyed. That frame rail is busted. Yeah, I hear you, which means I probably could get this for a song. And I don't care. I'd chop that off and weld a new piece in. And no, before you tell me that's inappropriate or you can't do that. See, I can see you can see the frame rail over here. Same way busted. But you know what? I don't care. If it's my personal car, it's a, if it's a driver for me on the weekends, it's not a car that I'm going to sell. You know, I, I think people think when I talk about taping up an airbag or doing something like it's going to be a car that I give to somebody. No, it's my car. This Z3 is not bad. You know, if it went for the right money, is it automatic or is it a manual? It is a manual. It definitely checks my boxes. Oh, it's leaking on the interior, though. That's not good. Yeah, she's soaking wet on the interior. Hmm. Which also begs the question, how much would this thing go for? Probably nothing. Probably nothing. And I probably, even if I bought it and it was a bad bet and I couldn't fix it, I'd make my money back in parts easily. Easily. If I couldn't fix it and drive it for myself, I could break it up for parts for sure. 
that's a whole nother side of the business. All right. Woo. Wow, here's something you don't see every day. Look at this. A Chevy Malibu with 308,000 miles on it. Tell me you see that every day. You just don't. You just don't. You do not see this every day. 308,000 miles. Wow. And it doesn't look terrible. We know the motor's pretty sorted, huh? Seat covers and everything. Oh, wow. I just got stuck. Hey, it's a run and drive. I guess it would all be about if you want to take that chance on that uh, 300,000 mile motor, huh? Let me know what you guys think. <clears throat> well, guys, the rain is actually really starting to come down out here. Whew. Not heavy. It's still, it's just a harder drizzle now. Man, that expedition is saying with me smashed. All right. I want to get my couple other vehicles I wanted to get in today in so we're gonna do that hey there's a v8 by turbo mercedes station wagon that's pretty cool oh but it's missing the whole rear end man damn that thing looked pretty man i could be down for that right there man wow well Damn, I really, I kind of wanted to look at that, but damn. So you never know, man. You never know what you're going to get. I am seeing that we're getting a lot less carnage out here lately. Maybe they're sending the carnage, sending the carnage elsewhere, huh? It's possible. Who knows? We are walking through the water. <laughs> I know y'all want to see me close my ass. Not going to happen, though. Oh, look, another 5.3 V8 with 307,000 miles on it. Them old, the old Vortex were bulletproof, man. Here's a Tesla. Model 3 with 8,300 miles on it. What's up, Rich Rebuilds? This looks like it's just a door. And part of that front fender uh oh this tesla might not be i mean it's got airbags deployed so i'm sure it snitched on i'm sure it snitched on itself to to uh tesla already i'm sure tesla has already been notified snitch alert snitch alert you know i would show you the interior of the vehicle guys but it's taped shut and that is a no-no we don't break rules out here like that see if i can give you a peek through the side no because of the airbags so i can't show you the interior guys can't show you the interior but not a bad looking tesla though i wonder what it will go for and yes this this king ranch power stroke ford smashed that porsche is still here let me pull this window this blue tarp down so the interior doesn't keep getting destroyed this should be covering this it happens man the wind blows out here it's not anybody's fault you know what i'm saying but you know like i said i, I like to try to do i like to try, i don't want to say i'm the nice guy but i would hate it if you know i was looking at something and then, then it had more stuff wrong with it than what i was looking at it's not perfect and there's no way for me to get that perfect i just have to let them know in the office but I mean, hey, this was that GT, what was it, GT4S or whatever, we looked at, what, a week ago? It's still here, so that means whoever bid on it didn't buy it. And this Porsche, you guys might remember this Panamera. This thing has come up before, too, and for whatever reason, hasn't been picked up. So it might be something I need to throw some money at. I know the mileage and stuff was high on it, and I'm not really a fan of how it looks or how it's probably been dogged out but oh look i can even put a train horn right there no i'm just playing <laughs> yeah ah 
I've got a Cadillac here. Is this a CTSV? This isn't the one I was looking at before, but it's another one. Ouch. That one's finished. That one's all but finished right there. Damn, man. It sucks. That one's pretty, that one was pretty too. That one was pretty too. This Impala is not for sale yet, guys. Otherwise, I'd show it to you. Oh, shit. And with that, my glasses just broke. <laughs> Yo. Do, 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 do. Whoa. All right, guys. That's going to do it for today's Copart walk around. Thank you guys very much for tuning in. If you like today's video and you like what I do, please be sure to click that thumbs up button and hit the subscribe button because it definitely helps me uh, continue to do what I do. If you really like what I do, Share the video with other people that might be interested in Copart content. And go get some merch if you really, really, really want to support me. That's how you can do it. Anyways, guys, till next time, I'll catch you guys on the next one.